Wow, that's a lot of people. Thank you so much. The response I've gotten from my recent Milo Rossi Pompeii video has been outstanding. So many people not only watched it, but decided to stick around. And I thank you so much for your vote of confidence. So in this video is a bit of a thank you. I wanted to respond to a few comments that I got and questions that people asked frequently. I tried to read all the comments, but they just came in so quickly. I definitely missed some. So if you asked a question that you'd like me to answer and I don't get to it here, leave it in the comments and I'll, I'll give it a reply. Let's start with by far the most important question. Where did I get my shirt? A lot of people wanted to know where I got that, and I'm sorry to say I got it at a thrift store in Nova Scotia, but the tag says folks, so you might be able to find someone selling them online. So on to more Pompeii related comments now. A lot of people asked about the silver coin of Titus that was found in the ruins of Pompeii. This coin was said to not have been minted until September, which should disprove the summer date, but this coin was misidentified. Numerous numismatists say that ten times fast. Numerous numismatists. Numerous numismatists, including Abdi, Maritzi, and Altamura, all said that the coin was misidentified, and it more closely aligned with an earlier coin that does line up with the sun summer date. The next question I got a lot was about Pliny's letter. If Pliny was an eyewitness to the event, then why did he get the date wrong? There are a couple of theories, but the one I like the best is just a copying error. Pliny wrote the letter in the first century, but the oldest copy of it that we have is from the 15th century. On a related note, some people asked if it could be a problem with the change over to the Gregorian calendar. At the time of Pompeii's destruction, the Romans were using the Julian calendar, which isn't dissimilar enough from the Gregorian calendar to cause a difference like that. Besides, that 15th century copy of the letter we have predates the 16th century introduction of the Gregorian calendar. One of the most asked questions I got was about prevailing wind patterns, and why, if the climate could be different enough to alter the growing season, could the same not be said for the wind patterns at the time? This is a fantastic question. I'm really glad my feet are being held to the fire here. It's also the question I'm the least qualified to answer, so I'll do my best, and then I'll link some sources in the description if you want to hear someone who knows what they're talking about talk about it. So my understanding is that the winds we're talking about are not the low surface winds that we experience on the ground, but prevailing high altitude winds that are more seasonally constant. And as far as I know, they're thought to be much the same today as they were 2,000 years ago. As I said, I'm not super well versed in atmospheric sciences. I'll link a couple papers below that talk about how this relates to Pompeii in a bit more detail. I also got asked a lot about the music that I used, and if it was the Nokia ringtone. Yes and no. It's a classical guitar piece called Gran Valse. It was written by Francisco Tarraga in 1902, but Nokia did use it as their ringtone, so that's what most people recognize it as. The last question for today is, what is my favorite piece of ancient graffiti? And this question was only asked once, but I do actually have an answer. It's in Pompeii and it's really fun, so I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna answer it anyway. So my favorite piece of ancient graffiti is a piece of political propaganda. In Pompeii during elections, they would paint political graffiti on the walls to express support for certain candidates. They read a lot like modern voting signs, you know, vote for this guy, he is great, sort of thing. But some of them flip this formula around a little bit and say shit like all the little thieves want Vatia for Edile or all the town drunks support Vatia for Edile. And that's so funny. <laughs> I, I, I love the thought of someone 2000 years ago going around and just trying to tank Vatia's political campaign with this. So funny. So anyways, uh, thanks for all your comments and questions. Again, sorry if I missed yours, put it in the comments here and I'll try to get to it. And um, new video Tuesday.